Alright, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Parallax figure from McFarlane Toys, which is a figure that is so hard to find. Uh, I am having so much trouble uh, obtaining this figure. Uh, yeah, you don't know how much I went uh, through to get this figure. Uh, but yeah, it's finally in my collection, and um, I have to say uh, this is a figure I... Uh, this is the character I love. Uh, next to Batman, uh, I really like how Jordan has a character, and uh, when he turned parallax, it's even cooler. Uh, so yeah, next to Batman, he's my second all-time favorite um, comic book character. And uh, yeah, then um, let's see, the card that he comes with is this. He has gray hair, and the uh, the suit itself is completely different than the figure we got. This. I would be so happy if we got this version, but instead it looks something like this, which looks nothing like the image right here. You can see the chest emblem, the uh, chest design is completely different than this one, and the head sculpt is also completely different. Uh, this one has brown hair with uh, great highlights, this one has black hair, and uh, the face sculpt is completely different too, it looks nothing like him. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, don't know what they were thinking when they did that. And uh, I mean, if there is this is a different version of uh, Parallax, I think this this actually is a different version uh, uh, based on a different comic uh, comic book series uh, of Parallax. But uh, then don't show this one. I mean, if you're gonna show this one, then give us this one. I mean, give us this one, not something else. Where, where the card and the figure does not match at all. Look at that. But uh, yeah, as far as the figure, it's still impressive. Uh, I do like it a lot because it is parallax, so I'm a little biased about that. And hands are translucent uh, green plastic, which is awesome. And then it comes with uh, two constructs uh, for, for both hands, and then also a lantern, a translucent lantern. All right, then this is a gold label figure. Uh, for some reason, it's so hard to find. Uh, I used to not have any issues finding gold label figures, uh, but this one, for some reason, it's like impossible to find. And uh, McFarlane Toys, they used to uh, post on Instagram when figures are available to purchase online. For some reason, Parallax didn't get that info, and um, it went up on pre-order, but I don't think anyone was able to order it for a oh, while, well, maybe in the beginning some people were able to over order it but after a while, even though when they show uh, in stock you put it in the cart, you can't even check out for some reason it was, it that happened for like uh, two, three days I think uh, for some reason, I just they, they just wouldn't let you check out uh, the figures uh, but uh, yeah, crazy, I don't know what's going on with, that, with uh, Walmart uh, that's why I hate getting, I hate them doing exclusives because they're always so hard to find uh, just regular release so everyone gets it all the retailer gets it so all the retailer gets them so you won't have an issue of uh, people not being able to buy these figures I mean, it's okay if you let them wait a little longer but still I mean let everyone let everyone buy them I mean because I'm sure tons of people want parallax here mm. So right now you got all these scalpers buying them and then putting them on eBay for double and triple the price, which is insane. Uh, I don't plan on doing that. I'm not going to support that, so yeah. And uh, yeah, look at the, the outfit itself. It looks nothing like the card again. Uh, the emblem is completely different. The chest design is completely different. Even some of these uh, lines are completely different too. And uh, I do like these uh, translucent fist and the hand right here, really nice. And he has a cape, shoulder pads, rubbery plastic, and the cape's attached to it. I was gonna uh, switch it out to a uh, to a cloth cape, but I wasn't able to find a green fabric yet. Um, I looked at the uh, a fabric store. Near me, but uh, they didn't have any green fla uh, green fabric that matches this type of color or 
the texture that I want. So yeah, I'm gonna look somewhere else, maybe Michael's or Joanne Fabric for something like that. But look at this, yikes! Look at his haircut, the back of his head. It's got butchered right there. Yeah, the the head sculpt is not great. I don't like this head sculpt at all. Uh, I think if you put the uh, Hal Jordan head sculpt on here, he might look a little bit better. Uh, I might do that later on. Not sure yet, but if I if I do, I might put a photo at the end of this video to show you guys what it looks like with the Hal Jordan, the other Hal Jordan uh, head sculpt. But uh, as far as articulation, I mean, it's all it's the same ball jointed head. He could look up, he could look down a little bit, not too much. Shoulders, good range. I mean, it is hindered, it will get hindered by the shoulder armor, but it's not bad. Double jointed elbows, there, ball hinge wrist. And then as for the chest, arch back, a little bit of crunch, a little bit of arching back, and uh, I guess he could do a flight pose if you want him to. And as for the hips, can go about 90 degrees, but it is at an angle. You have to spread it out a little bit. And then knee joints, look at that, really good. And then uh, ball hinge ankles and toes articulation. And as for ankle joints, they are pretty stiff. Uh, I'm okay with these. They are not like super tight, but not to the point where I was like, it's gonna fall over or anything like that. So yeah, these are okay joints, okay knee joints. And uh, overall, the figure is, uh, it's cool. I like it. Uh, the only other, well, actually, we have gotten a total of three, I think three parallax figure. One was from Kenner. A long time ago and then the other one was from DC direct which was a which was a, was a very limited articulation and then we have this one I think that's the only three the only three uh, parallax figure we have gotten yeah so yeah I'm quite happy with this and uh, hopefully we'll get more parallax figure from other people yeah, he's the coolest. Uh, or a different facial expression would be nice. One that's uh, super angry or anything like that with mouth open. I would love that. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah. If you could find him, congratulations. Uh, don't don't go on eBay and pay double or triple the price because it's not worth it. Uh, I think eventually this guy will be available everywhere. I think it's just um, a distribution problem right now. Not sure, but uh, McFarland Toys didn't address any of it. Uh, I hate when they do exclusive, just like uh, the upcoming um, uh, Asriel, Asriel figure. That one's also exclusive to Walmart, and then also um, Dark Flash from the Blackest Night. That one's also a Walmart exclusive. I don't know what, what's going on with them and Walmart, because uh, I hate it. I hate it when they do exclusives. So, yeah. So there you go, there's a Hal Jordan Parallax from McFawn Toys. Thanks for watching. Alright, I just went and popped the head off of the Green Lantern and put it on Parallax and uh, you can see it looks quite good actually with this head sculpt. But uh, the, um, the mask doesn't match because it is uh, darker green than his armor. His armor is more of a lighter green than, uh, yeah. Than, than the Green Lantern figure, uh, so you can kind of see he looks fantastic. Uh, head sculpt does work really well with that neck piece, um, and uh, he has a little more range of motion too, uh, which I'll show in a second. But just want to show you guys what he looks like. And here's uh, straight on. You can see it looks fantastic. And from the side, you can see there's a little gap here but uh, not too bad and with that gap you can see he can look way up now so if he's doing a flying pose look at that it's amazing he could definitely do a flying pose without any issues whatsoever look at how high up he could look and he could look down 
sideways a little bit and tilt his head. Yeah, but uh, yeah, quite good as far as uh, posability and uh, likeness. It's definitely better. I think I like this one much more. And he has brown hair. Just uh, give him a little, uh, little white hair on the side, then he'll look absolutely gorgeous. It's much better than the other head sculpt.